Hello, it's me, Brandon Burns, aka Ratty Roughman from YouTube, and I felt like doing another DVD. Well, that's not going to be a DVD review. I'm just going to show you a DVD I bought. I think it was this year or last year. I, I really can't remember, but I did bought it at Dollar General. It's a uh, SNL Saturday Night Live in the eighties. Oh yeah. Uh, now I don't watch. I, I really hardly watch Saturday Saturday Night Live anymore. But I used to love this shit back in the day. Well, you know, I grew up. I was born in East Tennessee, so I grew up. Uh, you know, with Chris Farley, Adam Sandler, and the Carvey ones, which are hilarious, by the way. You know, at the time I didn't. I didn't like the late nineties ones with Will Ferrell. Chris Kattin, Molly Shannon, but looking back, those were way better than what we have now. Although I do like Tina Thompson, I mean, I like, I like the performance and some others. Like I said, I don't really watch it anymore. I don't know who's on that. Who's on it now, anyway? I just remember they still did the, one of my favorite things, still did the presidential, you know, debate. They've been doing that since the 70s when it first came out. They recently had Alec Baldwin as Donald Trump, which I thought was hilarious. You know, I know Alec Baldwin is a Democrat. He hates Trump. But still, it is hilarious him playing Trump. I'm just saying. But Saturday Night Live started in October of 75. It, it started on NBC in October of 1975. The original cast were Chevy Chase, John Belushi, Dan Roy, the late Gilbert Ranner. Now, you yeah, the late John Belushi, but who else? Steve Martin, no, I don't think Steve Martin was a, I used to say I thought he was a, a cast member, but, but he was just a host, a comedian who was on there. Garrett Morrison, yeah, I don't know him. Sorry if I can't pronounce his last name, but yeah. It's, it's Bill Murray later joined the cast when, same when Chevy Chase left. And, uh, what's her name, Lauren Newman, I think it's Lauren Newman. I can't pr pronounce her name, too. And Jane Kerman, who, you, who uh, you know, that conehead sketch, she was primat conehead, that are my, if you remember the coneheads. The original sketches I, I like of the 70s, I love the, the original sketches, you know, with the Blues Brothers, uh, the Wild and Crazy guys. And we used to have the Mr. Bill sketch. And this is way before my time, remember, I was born in the late 80s. This was the groovy 70s. And later on in the 80s, when it, you know, I heard it went down here in the early eighties. You know, the ratings were declining, and they brought Eddie Murphy in, and he saved the show. You know, that's what people say. I, Eddie Murphy was good. I'm just saying. Later you know, on, they had new cast members. They had John Lovitz. I can't remember the early eighties cast members except maybe that guy from Police Academy and Anthony Michael Hall was in it. I, I couldn't believe that. Let's see, in the late eighties, they had Michael McKean. No, he was in the nineties. I know they had John Lovitz. The late Phil Hartman. Who else? Uh, Kevin Nealon, Nealon, Dave, Mike Myers, Kevin Nealon, Adam Sandler, Rob Snyder, Chris Farley, David Spade, Chris Rock. But like I said, I remember the 90s one most of all, but that's that's what I grew up with. This is Mike Myers, who else? I know, I know, I know some of those I can't think of them right now, but. Anyway, yeah, I grew up watching Saturday Night Live. They had the weekend updates. And they always had the musical guests, the hosts, different hosts, like Danny DeVito, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and uh, you know, they had a lot of hosts you might remember. I remember Jerry Seinfeld being a host one time. And Charlton Heston, they playing the dates. But, you know, SML, the last footage of the 80s, it mostly has, um, you know, that the Michael Takakis, George Bush debate with Dana Carvey being George Bush. Not knowing I'm doing it. And uh, John Lovitz has Michael Dukakis. I saw Lovitz did, did look like Michael Dukakis. They always do the presidential debates. They had, remember, they had Phil Hartman at the time, was Ronald Reagan, and and I can't think of that comedian. He was both Bill Clinton and Al Gore. Well, first, Phil Hartman was Bill Clinton, then he left. And uh, Colin Farrell, I think that's the name. I can't remember. I'm sorry if I can't remember. Then they had Will Ferrell as George W. Bush. And that's that's the last time I think I watched SNL. I just thought it wasn't good anymore. It was funny that Chevy Chase was Gerald Ford. He didn't even look like Gerald Ford when Chevy Chase was doing it. Doing it. And uh, Dan Atwood with Jimmy Carter. At least Dan Atwood tried to be Jimmy Carter. At least he was almost in the right character. He had that southern accent, but you see, he had a mustache when, when Dan Atwood was with Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter did not have a mustache. Mustache, but you know who. 
It is what it is. But yeah, the eighties. I remember Eddie Murphy doing fuckweed and Gumby, the Jewish Gumby. He also said he was the lost beater of the Beatles, and uh, he did that when he was that, as that white guy character before white chicks came along. That was funny. The eighties. I'm mostly talking about Eddie Murphy, but they, they had the other sketches too. Yeah, I mean, it was Victoria Jackson was on SNL. They had a, you know, always they did Adam Sandler. He was doing, a, you know, the Hanukkah song, and a, I remember he did that. I'm sorry, I'm sweating. It's hot. I was like, he did the Cabin Boy. I forget, I forget the sketch. I gotta watch it on YouTube again. The Cabin Boy, where the guy says, "You're funny, Cabin Boy," like in a in homosexual way. I'm just saying. And you know, Chris Farley has Matt Foley. Now, this was early 90s. I know the DVD was supposed to be the 80s, but you know, like I said, I mostly watched the early 90s one. You got him living in the van down by the river. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I'm doing it again. I just want to talk. I just wanted to show you this DVD. It's not new. Uh, I just wanted to show you this DVD. It's not really a review, but. I, I just want to see you know, TV was good like this. Yeah, Bill, I know Billy Crystal, Martin Short, Gilbert Gottfried, oh God, Jim Belushi, John Belushi's brother, Jerry Lee, Lee Strasser, Al Franken, I forgot about Al Franken, you know, I know he got in, in trouble in recent months, the last year, you know, that sex scandal or whatever. But, uh, of course, you might remember him as, now as a senator from Minnesota. Is a Democrat, but um, I remember him when he used to do Stuart, Stuart Smiley saves his family. He did a movie in Stuart Smiley. I don't know, I want to say it, but I can't remember. Um, good enough, and darn it, darn it, darn, darn, got it. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll try to do it. I'm smart enough, I'm good enough, and gosh darn it, people would like me. Kevin Newman always said, Nora Dunn, John Lewis, Dana Carvey, Robert Smigel. Yeah, I forgot about Robert Smigel. I remember him being the voice of Mr. Beefy and Little Nicky. That's what he's most known for, being the voice of dogs, and that, uh, doll, you know, puppet dogs, I forget what it was. But. And Conan, Conan O'Brien is in this. Some of the musical guests were James Brown, Queen, Tom Petty, and the Heartbreakers. Bobby Ray, Roy Orbison, Elvis Costello, Harry Connick Jr., Don Henley, and the King says we're interviews with footage that has never before seen before. And, and we all know Lauren Michaels, the executive producer who's, who actually created it. I don't know if he created it or not, but he's been there for years and years and years, and he'll be there to the day it dies or SNL will go off the air. But I really don't think, I think SNL will be canceled, even though it's not what it used to be. People just love sketch comedy shit and uh Saturday Night Live is legendary. It would never go off the air no matter what happens like WWE wrestling, WWE now hall. But yeah this is you know still yeah, I do remember some of the sketch sketch that Mr and Mrs. Liner and that jaw sketch and uh Rosanna Dana. And the cone heads, remember Air Wood and Jake. Was it really a sketch? They were just sing, singing like a musical guest. Their own band. And what else I'm going to say? Just I just felt like I showed you this movie. Talk, I'm talking about SNL Saturday Night Live. It was good on TV, but when I was a kid, I didn't watch this on TV. I watched this on Comedy Central. And I remember back in the 90s, years ago, where they were showing the new ones in the late 90s. They showed the 70s ones for some reason. I don't know. I, I, I didn't understand why they didn't show the early seasons of 70s ones with John Blue Sudan and Royal Comedy Central. I don't know. I, I guess they. Maybe because they were showing all those movies with Chris Farley, Adam Sandler, or Comedy Central at the time. Maybe they just want to show them, but that, I really don't know. I just. I didn't work there. I was just saying, but SML in the 80s is a great DVD to check out. Buy it. I bought this at Dollar General. You should try to get it on Amazon if you want to. But anyway, that's it. I'm at the end of this video. Have a good night.